Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to get more YouTube views with Zapier connecting to LinkedIn. So last week, I created this tutorial right here where it was how to get more YouTube views with Zapier connecting to your Facebook page. So basically, when a video is released on my YouTube channel, it automatically posts on our Facebook fan page. And that's what Zapier is. It is an automation tool. And the reason why I like it is because you set it once and then it continues to work when one action is performed, like uploading a YouTube video. I chose this over a social media scheduling platform because a scheduling platform requires you to actually sit and schedule everything, whereas I wanted things to be a little bit more hands-off and automated. So if you want to check out this tutorial, that will be down in the description below. So now, let's connect Zapier to LinkedIn. So when you are in your Zapier account, click on Create Zap, and it's going to ask you the initial trigger that you want. And I want it to be from our YouTube channel. So I'm going to start typing in YouTube, and it'll start to pop up here. I'm going to click on YouTube. From here, you need to choose a trigger event. And if I click on that, you'll see some choices here. New video, new video and channel, new video by search, new video and playlist. So for me, I want it to be new video on our channel. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click continue. And then you do need to connect your YouTube account. Zapier is totally safe. It's trusted. It's been around for a very long time and it is required to connect things to it in order for it to do the automation. So I already have my YouTube channel connected, so I'm going to choose the correct one here. And if you don't have yours, then what you would do is click connect new account. I've already got ours connected. Next, I'm going to click continue. Next, you're going to need to grab your YouTube channel ID. And if you don't know how to grab that, the link for that tutorial will also be down in the description below. Basically, they give you an example and it's a combination of a bunch of letters and numbers that looks really long and ugly like this. So you want to grab that from your channel and paste it here. Then I'm going to click on refresh fields. Now the button is blue, so now I can click continue. Next, it's going to ask me to test a trigger. So I want to click that button and it's going to make sure that it's the correct channel. So I'm going to click test trigger and it's pulling up a recent video, which would be our live stream that we did this past Thursday. So that is correct. If you click on this, it'll show you other videos like so the video that we did before that and the video that we did before that. So I'm okay with it pulling up this one. Click continue. Next, it's going to ask you the action. So from YouTube to where? And in this tutorial, it's going to be LinkedIn. So I'm going to type in LinkedIn and here it is right here. Click on that. And then I'm going to choose action event, choose an event. So I want to do a share update. I'm going to click continue. I'm doing the LinkedIn one for the first time here, so I, I will need to sign into LinkedIn to connect that one up. So I'm going to click sign into LinkedIn. It's going to pull up something like this, and you do need to allow these kinds of things so that they can post on your behalf. So I'm going to click allow. Once it's connected, I'm going to click continue. Next, it's going to ask for some data for you to fill in. So when you click on comment, it's going to ask you, okay, which of these things do you want to show up? I haven't done this one, so I'm just, I'm going to have to do a couple of tests here. So let's see, I'm going to first choose the title, just the title, and then I'm going to put content URL. I want the, uh, the YouTube URL of the video. And the first one was the only one that was required. Everything else was not required, so I'm going to just test this out first to make sure that it is good. Because ideally, I just want the title and the YouTube link, and hopefully it extracts the, the thumbnail image automatically, like it does on the Facebook fan page one. So I'm kind of just doing what I did on the fan page onto the LinkedIn. So 
Let's test this out. Click continue. I want to test this out and see what it looks like. So I'm going to click test and review. All right, so it worked. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. The title came up and then I just put in the link and then it automatically filled in the image. What is supposed to happen is it, uh, let's say someone's on my LinkedIn profile, whatever, you know, checking me out and whatever, clicks on this and then it should go to the YouTube video. So now I'm going to head back to Zapier and I'm going to click turn on zap because that's exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to click turn on zap and it's going to say, want to share this? I'm going to click X on that and the zap is on. So from YouTube to LinkedIn, every time I upload a video on YouTube, it's now going to be automatically posted onto my LinkedIn. So that is how you can get more YouTube views with Zapier connecting YouTube to LinkedIn. If I was able to help you out, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. That would be greatly appreciated and I will see you in the next video.